Marco, what would I do without this? Thanks for the healing. I'm it's about sorry the strike. to be a bother. We've all got enough. Look sharp, ourselves. everyone. Yes, ma'am. Everyone all right? We won't surrender. We won't retreat. Not yet. Whatever you do, just please stay safe. How are we supposed to take on something so big? I'll handle it. Alvin! Just watch and learn. That's enough! Go back down! Everyone okay? Yeah, I think so. That thing scared the pants off me. It felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go.
I'm even stronger than before. Hey, is that it over there? You can never be too prepared, but... Funny, isn't it? What is? All this. When we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have... Where'd Shion go? How could she just go off on her own? Shion. Shion! <laughs> It's your thorns? But why? You okay? 
just now, it looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? Stay out of my way. Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case... Then go ahead and shoot me! Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Rolron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time... ...was when I was only a child. After that... ...no matter how often... ...I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> I believe you, Xion. Tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait... The whole reason you... You needed the Renes Alma... ...was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside... ...then what will happen to the rest of me? <laughs> right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die... ...I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's... ...what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans... ...and chose to fight with us, isn't it? And while we've all been fighting to keep on living... ...you have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan? But then I met all of you, and I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Xion, don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to... It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is... ...it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first... ...but... ...ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers... ...I've been more certain than ever before. It was then... 
that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus. When the wedge fell. Every day, I feel the thorn's power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. <sighs> and that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renis Alma on your own and sacrifice yourself to stop the thorns. But that's... Too much! It's way too much! When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die, but I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met! Then I wouldn't have to feel this way! See on it! Only living for the sake of dying is no better than being a slave! How can you endure this? Elfin... It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen! We can fight this! We'll fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean... that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Xion, what do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. But if you decide not to fight fate, I will. Even if I have to do it alone. No. You won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. You guys. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Xion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she'll live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Xion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. You are not alone. You guys... You're all so stubborn. Thank you... Everyone... For right now... And a little while longer... I just want to hold on to this dream. And most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you. So let's go. On to Lenicus. <laughs>